Welcome everyone, today we have a daughter underlocking. In this game we have two bad rider and one Venno. We are the only knights for now, let's see how the rose turns out first. We want to go into knights and want to be the only knight or only like two knights out there. We will take ages stuff. It's a tier 2 item and you know, it's a good investment. But that does make us weaker in early rounds. Because we're gonna <laughs> use those items for too often. That's a knight. Even more persuasion for people to not play knights. This is the logic I want to start is that if you start to take a lot of one particular lines, sometimes people will look and they will be persuaded to not play it. So here this person have a witch doctor and bat rider. Overall we have decent decent rolls at the start. Hey there! Okay, okay, welcome buddy. Usually want to look into counter builds for the knights. The early game counters uh, can be savages, can be... Oof, <laughs> contract the knights, eh? <laughs> if you look over, oh, this item is actually not bad. <laughs> so I know bad as well, like... <laughs> Damn, that's a lot of timber saw. <laughs> that is a lot of timber saw. Yeah, contract can carry. That's right. Contract can definitely carry. I do want to put the the warlock down, but there's no need to rush. The contract gives HP, so it's quite solid. If I win here, <laughs> I'm contemplating whether I want to buy the timber saws. Because this sell for less, and that's a big bait. <laughs> I purposely want the Witch Doctor to take some damage, but not to die before he cast. <laughs> it's okay, easy free roll. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> we couldn't even kill the tiny! <laughs> I can't even buy the Timber Source. A Scrappy player will be like in love right now. I have the Warlock ready to give us about five different alliances <laughs> with four units. Sinna here first, guys. <laughs> Five alliance, four units. <laughs> Contractor knights. Also on the plastic guy. I won't use the free roll unless necessary, because I don't have the gold to buy it. Also, you know, I don't need to win here. I can just lose. Let's call ourselves Contractor Knights. Scrappy Buku the game? Yeah, Scrappy is very decent at 2 star. One of the strongest, I feel. <laughs> this Warlock is supposed to die, not supposed to heal up. <laughs> now we sacrificed the uh, Chaos Knight for it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's a uh, money roll, <laughs> if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> I was preparing for 2 star tiny, you know, Blast Seeker, but. With that roll, everything's out of the bag. <laughs> it's average warlock, I know. Oh, oh. Oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay, guys, that warlock is not listening to logic. Because he doesn't listen to us, we, we show him why he should listen. Baradus here, so when Chaos Knight walks up here, Batrider still gives him the alliance of knights. Hey there, Open Wave. Hammond, did check my tips yet? I commented on your, on your video with Butterfly. Oh, I have checked that. Yes, once I swap over to the side by clicking on life clicking, I can swap while looking at what other people have. So it's a very nice tip. Thank you, my friend. <laughs> Sacrifice the Warlock to the Lambs, I know, right? <laughs> Thank you so much for the tip, buddy. So if those that are interested on the tip, so if you're first in one was fine, and if you go to the enemy view and click the show both parties, if you right click and left click on your units, you can still move them while in the view of the enemy. So which is very helpful. Hey, I think it's gonna be a good night game, guys. What do you think? <laughs> what do you think? I think it's a solid night game. I don't need to choose that warlock. Because his sole purpose is to die fast. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> Warlock is the sacrificial lane. He also activates Warlock, <laughs> as the name st states. 
So Barrett is here to give us the attack speed as well. <laughs> Look at Chaos Knight, <laughs> 2.5k. Barrett also stands perfectly to give the, you know, the Chaos Knight the defensive powers. Good day to see you, sir. How are you doing? Good luck with your games. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you, man. Excited, my friend. Welcome, buddy. This is a monster Chaos Knight. <laughs> 207. He's not even phased. Bang. <laughs> Bang. <laughs> <laughs> 3550 level 7 guys <laughs> what a chaos knife I will level here actually I probably shouldn't have but that's okay <laughs> probably shouldn't have done that so leveling the up there give us high rates of knights and I wanted more knights knights not 2 star knights but 3 star knights like Abaddon and only knight but also leveling <laughs> Reduces. There you go. <laughs> okay. How about this, Warlock? So, the leveling also reduces our saving, of course, but we have just started winning, and I plan to start to win like, consecutively with a win streak. <laughs> Tip number one play on PC. Oh, yeah, the PC really helps if you play on PC. <laughs> I definitely agree. Over here, Luna with double damage is actually priceless yet compared to Dragon. Oh, gosh. <laughs> She's just gonna die, but. Luckily, we have a Chaos Knight here. Let's give Luna the contract now. Chaos Knight can be the tank. Luna takes the contract. Those two can be sold. Contract to Luna. I didn't need the Ogre because I just want the Warlocks. <laughs> Shadow Seven Duck, pick me! <laughs> I'm like, sorry, buddy. I have started a win streak. Actually, I shouldn't. I didn't need to start it. With the win streak, I am inclined of no. I am inclined on spending to protect the win streak. And this does give us four knights as well. So this does make us really powerful. <laughs> if he kills a warlock, he is not prepared. <laughs> Contract the knights here. Ready for the lunar damage, guys? Pew pew. Wait. <laughs> It's so much bronze damage, it's shit for 300, did you see that? Bing! <laughs> Bing! <laughs> 300 a pop! <laughs> That's a big Luna! It's a new moon! I'll buy the Shadow Shaman. <laughs> I'll buy this time. Those are the ones we keep. Axe or Tiny? Always Tiny, my friend. Tiny give us AoE stun and good damage, Axe just taunts and dies after. Unless you're going brown either. Nothing too special. Let's have a look around. This is a neutral run. <laughs> too smart that means they have stronger late game item choices. Look at this. We persuaded most players to go outside of knights. The player with the Witch Doctor also left Witch Doctor and Bat Rider. Because I keep putting down knights to say I'm fully going to knights. <laughs> and they really got persuaded. X is like, what is my purpose? <laughs> to get punched <laughs> and get punched even more. Then we got two star Luna and CS Knight. I'm on Knight Solo with one star, so I know that's the worst feeling seek. When you find pair of knights but nothing else, it's just so hard. But if you find two star, it's the best feeling. <laughs> I'm not just having a Luna, guys. I'm having a big Luna. <laughs> the teal damage is the contracted Luna damage. I have three units waiting to be two star. How good is that? I don't need a two star Warlock. She ha he has to die first. <laughs> you thinking what I'm thinking, guys? Is that too exaggerated? No way. <laughs> this, this is one of my, <laughs> one of my video is called "How to Win with Items." <laughs> hey there, Chinobi. Welcome, buddy. Good to see you. Now the question is how to win with items. This is exactly how we win with items. <laughs> the Dragonite group. Dragon also play replace the Abaddon. 750 versus 1000. His spell damage is quite relevant. <laughs> How to win with items? There you go. <laughs> Going for three ages. <laughs> ages is nice, but I was hoping for a good item like four from Grace could be also great. <laughs> you killed this warlock, my friend. Oh, Luna's angry. You killed his friend. <laughs> you killed her friend. Got this Luna go. Wait, the stun? No, not the stun. Oh, look at that. 
She bounced them into oblivion. <laughs> 4k damage. <laughs> Can't track the Luna. So. Uh, <laughs> I don't need those uh, shadow things. Because the Chaos Knight is already 2 star. Now one big concern with having a Warlock like this... <laughs> 3 ages is a refresher though. <laughs> I didn't know that my friend, good to know. So downside of having this Warlock eventually is that it takes up a spot. And with the our particular composition, a spot is so crucial. For now it's still justifiable, later I have to let the Warlock come back. <laughs> yes, kill him now. <laughs> Gonna play my first game. Good luck, my friend. Really solid damage with Dragon Knight. Look at that. One star. Notice we started to win once we decide to level up and to decide to look for a few units with the free rolls. We also leveled up very early. We need the only knight, then we have all the knights. Not that we can use them though. <laughs> the only two stars are here. Hey, look at that gold. Oh, <laughs> disruptor's so gone. Because right now I can't invest in round like twenty-five. Disruptor's like round twenty-five additional unit first. But here I'm investing into like the mid game, which is like round fifteen. Thirty gold is not bad, but the, the player above me is having like <laughs> purple gazelle wind streaks. Not bad. Shadow Shaman is gone. Got a good night table. Yes, kill the warlock fast. Oh, this is the if Luna hits behind us, we're in trouble. Like there. <laughs> Actually, she killed him because she's a one star queen. I thought that was a two star queen. Luna's so good with the mini summons. <laughs> She hits them and they die, guys. <laughs> and so does Arc Warden. <laughs> 5k? It's going for 6k. Any of the pairs come, we can replace a unit. We can go 6 knights, but I feel it's a little awkward here. Because without the Warlock, Luna does so much less damage. Like, half as much. Hey, that's pretty good. Master needed upgrade, so now the front line is much tankier. Look at knights. Very good. At this stage, no one will likely go into knights, and this means seven other players is helping us to find the knights because they're taking units that's not the knights, removing them away from the pool to give us better knight rate. So this is when everyone is actually helping you. <laughs> So many 3 stars. Oh, this light can know. Luna's also in trouble. Warlock's not dying fast enough. Oh, what kind of positioning? Why isn't Warlock dying? He died too slow. We lost this one for sure. New patch. Does Master Mana still work on Luna? Oh, for sure. That's a big, big item for Luna. So if it didn't work, it's it's not good. Oh, also we lost like 4 gold here by losing. <laughs> Terrible times we had. He had all the two stars and blink lichen. Positioning, we need to adjust a little bit. Because it feels to me that <laughs> Warlock is not dying fast enough. Round 15, <laughs> adjust over here. Oh, mighty wolf gods. <laughs> uh, Overlord, I sacrifice one puny Warlock to you. <laughs> Stand here, little guy. By the Dragonite, we level up. Sorry, by the Dragonite. We save the free roll to level up later. You usually want to be level 7 and level 8 to start rolling for knights. Highest Redop Dragonite and Necromancer. <laughs> okay, it's over. <laughs> Luna's so good here. Oh, I have three, five, three stars I'm about to lose. Oh no. What happened, my friend? Oh, 
I thought that was under the contract, guys. <laughs> we'll have to take Relic. Relic give us power now. Smuggler, we can use it. We need power now. We can't invest to the future. Always, right? And this is the point Warlock comes down. <laughs> Warlock, you served as well, but <laughs> it's a time. Yeah, someone takes the contracts. Dragon for HP. So why Warlock came down, actually? I don't need Warlock to be down, right? No, Warlock's not too far back. I was going to say, I'm going to have all knights, but that means next round I have all the knights. So six knights allows us to you know, not need a Warlock, because Luna will have Relic, which is a decent damage. <laughs> they all blinked down to us, and Warlock died. <laughs> not bad. Bang, bang. Luna's so good. We're still keeping this Warlock, because we can use him later. We can go to four Warlocks this way. This is what I meant, because we'll be level 7 here. Go to Alina. Get some HP, buddy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> are we seeing what I'm seeing here, guys? Let's see if we are. Oh my. I just rolled once. <laughs> I just rolled ones, guys. Yeah, we're doing this. <laughs> I just rolled ones for no particular reason. <laughs> wait, wait. Nah, no. <laughs> this is gonna be a three star dragon party. I didn't get the only that item properly, but it's okay. <laughs> it's a round 17-5 dragonite. Not two, not three, but five. Oh, poor Luna. She died in the poison <laughs> because of Hyper. <laughs> you saw the awkward and they're gone. <laughs> I can't even find one DK around 18. I know, sick. I took all the DKs from two games. <laughs> Cause of everyone's helping us, guys. <laughs> they're helping us with RNG finds. Wow, well, this one goes to Dragonite. <laughs> I gave it to Viper. Much better. Like, the amount of RNG there was out of the world. <laughs> I was pretty amazed. <sighs> what can I sell? I can't sell anything. I want all of them. <laughs> this is the early Dragonite RNG that you want to keep them all. Actually, I'll give it to the Dragonite. <laughs> Dragonite takes this one now. Pretty decent. We're missing one more knight. So once we level 8, we have one more only knight. But then Dragonite comes to star, which arc can go? <laughs> Double tiny. Is Dragonite okay with double tiny? Oh, he's fine. Oh, Viper baited the stuns. Never mind. Dragonite also flew over. <laughs> it can't be a bait when my biggest carry is over there, right? <laughs> it's Assassin Knight. <laughs> so, do majors suck that bad? I finished second with six three stars, six majors, uh, two knights front line. This guy. Oh, oh I'm over my friend. <laughs> my in game chat broke. So, this guy won with zero three stars. Oh, what did he have? What do you have with zero three stars to beat you? <laughs> Don't say the DK is a bait like never. I'll oh, keep out the DKs this time. Oh I think someone is getting best for RNG this round. <laughs> for Hallis and Bleeding Come. Now what I'm thinking is you're having too many majors and not enough controls. If he was beating you without any like particular three star then you're missing control. Do you have Tiny, Conquer, Tide Hunter? If you don't have any of the three, then you need at least two, I think, in the late game. Because Mages don't like damage. They need controls for more casting. Or to get the first cast off. <laughs> There's a wolf behind us. <laughs> wolf among us. Oh, Dragon versus Wolf? Oh gosh. Viper killed them all, guys. <laughs> Viper killed the entire backline. Bleeding scales with armor? I don't think so, my friend. It's just pure damage. Very comfortable at round 20. We found the bottom of the pack into the top two. 
and notice that we didn't pick the smuggler because too many items were invested into the late game and no need to go out even. Because we want to balance. If no item takes us to the late game, then ages will be wasted. We literally have over 100 health with the two ages, by the way. <laughs> the dragon that flies on his sideways. It's like he's left-handed or right-handed, but he's never like fu fully like <laughs> fully flying straight. <laughs> we will pre-level here, I think. Yeah, let's do it. Cost us pretty. <laughs> cost us half a arm or a leg. <laughs> Smacker came again, but mask is so good on the not so we'll take mask. <laughs> this is when you actually have to say no to good items. Very right, fancy. So, off main tank, off tank. Only can be the main tank later. <laughs> Missing gold again, it's okay. <laughs> Still no 3 star DK? How oh, unlucky, I know, right, Matt? <laughs> so unlucky for sure. <laughs> so, DK's got his item, Luna's got hers. Not, not bad. And, you know, the relic damage is like half of DK's damage. Like, increased by more than 50%. Oh, this Viper is a slightly tankier one. <laughs> 135. <laughs> His team's not ready. That Necro's gone. <laughs> Viper soloed the Necro. <laughs> oh, this is the number one Ronnie. <laughs> he was gonna farm us. <laughs> not today. <laughs> Only level 6 because he's rolling deep for Ronnie's. That's why he's getting weaker. I like how you still have that long warlock respect for early game camera, I know. He is gonna be staying with us for a while. <laughs> so once we're level 10, I throw him down. I give the contract to my 3 star Luna. Or just watch things bounce. <laughs> yeah, we have the contract. Contract the Dragon Knight at 3 star. <laughs> That'll be the dream. So losing, we lost 2 gold there because of a broke economy. But next round, we get it all back. Oh, I hope. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> well now, this is when we can break the knights again. By breaking the knights, we lose ten percent defensive powers, but we increase our offensive powers by twenty-two percent with armor reduction, and also by even further with the healing. So this is a good pickup. <laughs> Protect necro at our cost. No one to be double nine for the last only nine, but it's not rushed. Level 9 gave us higher Dragon Knight rate, so it's acceptable. <laughs> Luna's like, new move! Luna! <laughs> Look at the Dragon Knight. <laughs> okay, Luna, how tell did she get hooked? She wasn't even in the farmer's backline. She wasn't expecting that at all. At all. I used to give Master Manus to Dragon Knight, such a waste, because if you look, the green is physical damage, the teal is magical. It does more magical than physical. It's a magical knight. Generally Gener curious because never go blah 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 is actually very interesting. It gave us the early game so much because we had a 2 star Luna with a blah blah, <laughs> throw one warlock to the gods, <laughs> and they can't do anything. Now, oof, I might like go off the warlock. Why should I let go of the warlock? Let me think. Hmm. Thank you, thank you so much for the subscribe, my friend. Welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for the support. Thank you so much, Joe5, for the subscribe, my friend. Thank you, thank you so much for the support, buddy. Welcome. And for everyone that's joining us, whether you have followed or subscribed, make sure you join us our Discord channel. And once you connect Twitch and Discord, you'll have your correct subscriber or follower status showed as well. Thank you so much, guys. Uh, should I go for a 3-star Witch Doctor? Nah, I don't need that. I was thinking of keeping Witch Doctor and everything else, but it's okay. <laughs> did we just face a mighty 3-star team? We did. It's a 3 star tiny and Tinker, Timber Saw team. Thank you, buddy. So, yeah, the. Oh, here we go. Uh, I wasn't planning on rolling, but if they this generous, I might as well roll. Nah, I got to level 9. Level 9 is better. Because level 9 gives the high strike and knight rate while we roll for the other units and also the necro rate. Because if we roll here we missed, we lose the advantage as well. Of you know how strong we are. <laughs> so many pairs, but it's okay. Generally lose Richard and put in Warlock, I think. Yeah, eventually. 
but not yet. Which Doctor give us quite a bit here. <laughs> he jumped right into the two AoE dealers and summoned the wolves. That was not a good time for him. Oh, actually, we might be in trouble. This is just how much splash damage we do. Because they are three stars, guys. <laughs> okay, the bear went together. <laughs> that dragon that carried me so hard. <laughs> good, good, good. Yeah, Coconut is very strong. The Coconut Wish Doctor is so underrated, but often at times, you know, it's about to attack, then they get coconutted, and then they waste like two to three seconds because they have to start attack animation again. Four gold win streak. Finally got my four gold win streak. We we'll pre-level into the next one, put down only knight, and then we start to roll. Yeah, 10k damage DK, I know. <laughs> you just wait, his friends are coming, guys. <laughs> his expensive friends are coming. Same logic as before, if you find a 2 star DK, Oni doesn't have to go down. But without him, we take the Oni. This is the time embarrassment is going to help a little bit. Notice we picked very greedy items early, then we have to go back to useful items. Because if we go all greed, it's not good. The ultimate greed is how much we balance things. <laughs> he found his 3 star Beastmaster. Can he make a comeback? I want to have a look. So, 4.5k. 4k. Oh gosh, he can do it actually. <laughs> oh gosh. Uh, 1.6. Let's have a look at his Beastmaster. The Disruptor have 1k. So, this is going to be interesting. This Juggernaut is got 6 Okay, he's got a quite, quite interesting thing. We'll take data this for Dragonite. Yeah, no one really needs refresher here, funny enough. It's a compact doctor. Oh, into pre level. There you go. Pre level for higher rates. Let's roll. Mm, nothing. Only good. <laughs> well, I can still hear. Yeah, it's super level, that's right. Why the damage bar have two colors? So, one of the color. The teal color is magical while the green is physical. And the other blue color is from damage from items. So if you have Maelstrom, etc. or Dagon, you will damage from item. Oh, oh, this is also a brownie player. <laughs> but wait, that's not a very strong brownie. <laughs> oh, it's Hook Luna! What did Luna do to deserve this? Poor Luna. <laughs> so we have the six knights. This is when we're very solid. Man, are you looking for Warlock at level 10? I am thinking of throwing him in, but no need to rush him. I need to buy the only knight. Looking for all those things now. You know, also Necro. Right now, I don't have a 3 star to justify the Bloodbound contract, that's why. Ooh. I don't need this one, so I can keep rolling. This is why I have to let go of the Warlock for now. Because I know I got a spot for a Warlock like this. <laughs> Look, more 3 stars. But they're not prepared for 3 star Luna. Everyone is helping me to find my units. How good is that? Look, no one wants Luna. This is a good formation for Assassins most of the time. Because they do run in like this. Oh, Dragonite could wake up one day. You know, a Necro can as well. It's silent. Oh, this is not a Necro. <laughs> Necro's over here. <laughs> Luna's like, I'm not Necro. <laughs> I was like, she can wake up. Why is she silenced? Because she's masked, you see. <laughs> so many little friends. He had his win streak going as well. So, Matt, I just had a contract arc with 3 star Brownie. Oh my gosh. <laughs> 25k PvP damage. <laughs> oh, let me get the Batrider. Not gonna be a game changer though. Troll is not needed. Because there's too many things. Can we get a Luna, please? Oh, oh. <laughs> holy moly. So, I need to roll once more. I saw the Batrider. Holy moly, that, that's too Dragonite. No, oh, Relic. Did I put it on? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so, oh, very interesting. I'll definitely want to try to contract my friend. 
We got two Dragonites. <laughs> How good is that? Oh no. They're tanky. <laughs> They're three stars. Wait. It's got like, oh my gosh. <laughs> it's got like 6.4k HP, guys. We were not prepared. <laughs> yeah, that's why I saw the bat rider. Because just for our equation of instance like this, we can still, you know, get a gold. The teal color is magical, that is correct. Oh, uh, <laughs> more dragon knight. Okay. Abaddon can go soon. Uh, for this instance, I'll take down one Dragonite. It's not that game changing having two Dragonite, especially one is like quite weaker. This gives us more tank ability, because I feel we don't lack damage, we lack tank ability. <laughs> it's a PKB Dipper Sword. <laughs> Heal yourself, Oni. Yeah, we got tank ability. <laughs> we tank up. <laughs> this Shadow Fee had one dream, guys. Was to cast his nuke. Coconut should actually win here for us. No, actually, Timbersaw has pure damage, though. He's gonna kill the Dragonite, then we lose. Okay, he didn't kill the Dragonite. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> he can't kill Dragonite. <laughs> oh, he killed us. I see. Necro. You go, Necro. <laughs> you show that machinery who's the boss. <laughs> It's only better at yeah, I need to use them to tank up, that's why. I just want to find a Luna here. We save up, we go to level 10 I think, for the highest Dragonite rate. I'm just missing one Luna, but it's better if I roll for Dragonite at level 10. <laughs> this Browning player, oh gosh. What does I have? He's got oh 32 kills, 5 kills, 20 kills, 83 kills Beastmaster. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Three star dragon I'm gonna verse the raid boss here. Yeah, the contract won't be much game changing anymore now. We shocked the casted. Good, good, good. Oh well, level up, I think. I lose a bit of economy. Lovely up for Dragonite. A bit of economy. A lot of economy, actually. <laughs> Double Knights. <laughs> I know. <laughs> 83 kills Beastmaster. He's gonna rack up all them kills, guys. Ooh. Interesting. Put your knives too late. Bracer is the best one we can find. Yeah, let's go Bracer only. Really good burst heal and damage. No Dragonite. I was really hoping. <laughs> level 10 now, by the way. <laughs> it's level 8. Everyone's level 8 with level 10. We also have Aegis. It's not that I'm scared of to lose HP. I want the highest rate of Dragon Knights as early as possible. I mean, we don't lose that much gold, right? Viper can be one step back. At oh, this player, it's got nothing on us. <laughs> well, double Dragon Knights. Pew pew. <laughs> of course, double Dragon Knights is done. <laughs> so strong here. Look at the damage. <laughs> it's like, no, like these. <laughs> it's got double summoning stone. So cute. I'm scared of the Beastmaster, though. <laughs> this is a boss, guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh gosh, 88 kills now. <laughs> How many DK are there in the pool? 15. So we already have 7. There's 8 left DKs. The rates of finding DKs are so much lower. Enigma? <laughs> That's a good idea. I should start looking for Enigmas too. <laughs> Enigma, the one they fear. The pure damage percentage. Uh, pick up Disruptor for now. Once DK is fused, I can use Disruptor. Okay. It's gonna be me versus the Beastmaster soon, I think. Oh, Warlock! 
This is a uh, <laughs> Warlock Scrappy. We Dragon Eye goes flying. It's okay. <laughs> One Dragon Eye on each side. I don't mind that. <laughs> Abaddon's like, I'll protect you. Oh, so tanky. <laughs> Human silence him. I'll kill the Dinka. Good. Can we kill the Dinka? <laughs> Three star. <laughs> you can't beat Witch Hawk, though. <laughs> Everyone's coconutted. Good. I actually don't want players to die too fast because I'll be in trouble. Enigma can be our last pickup, I think. Thank God. Need to save up them gold, guys. <laughs> Need gold now. Chaos Knight never came. I mean, you know, got more dragon than a Chaos Knight. Viper step one back. Luna? No, it's better. Haven't found the Necro yet as well. What a good alliance. Oh, this player. <laughs> this is a player. This is the player. <laughs> 7.9k Beastmaster, by the way, guys. It's no joke. <laughs> Only I had a dream. Oh, we can't even kill this one. <laughs> we cannot kill him, guys. <laughs> we can kill everything else <laughs> except the <laughs> the 8k Beastmaster now. <laughs> He's literally farming us. <laughs> okay, top three now. So why in two chance we find him? I have to roll through. We can still save up. Because, you know. <laughs> we need contract 3 star DK. I'm not sure how good the contract is on DK though. He gets 360. Actually, it's good. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> it's not bad. Uh, he's going up to level soon. He left, got level 9. Oh gosh. <laughs> I'm looking for, the, looking for the Necro as well. Okay, this player we should be okay. Because we're really punching with a split. At least I like him though. Maybe we're not okay. <laughs> we shall see. Got to the Lycan. Go to the Lycan. No, we can't kill the Lycan because he's <laughs> rooted us. <laughs> okay, this is on Aegis Shrines. We saved them enough, guys. Time to spin them gold. <laughs> Priority Luna, Dragonite. Followed by Chaos Knight Viper. <laughs> this Beastmaster Rip Boss. <laughs> Two ages, I know. Two ages still. We still have like 60 gold, uh, 60 HP, if you think about it. That's not what I wanted. Uh, Holy Knight can't. Can I? Oh wow. Hey, that's pretty good. Oh, that's all we found. <laughs> I want this one to help Chaos Knight tank. I want here Chaos Knight to do a stun on the dragon if I can. That's all we're hoping. Yeah. Never mind. <laughs> the plan was good. <laughs> Execution was poorly. <laughs> Viper though. Viper got this one. <laughs> one stun is all we need. Which Hawker did it? <sighs> Moonshard is good. I think I'll go with Moonshard. <laughs> oh, DK. Well, the one they fear. Oh, Luna. I just roll it off further. One more. Self disruptor. Ah, actually, I don't want to roll anymore. <laughs> so close, guys. One more to go. <laughs> One more to go. Can we do it? <laughs> three star DK the dream. Have not seen a three star DK since the skin change as well. I lost to him last time, so it's likely I'll lose to him again without changing the positioning stuff. That's why I'm worried. <laughs> it's a big task. And that's a big like. Yeah, he's baited us away as well, so massively. That's okay. Have to roll deep now. <laughs> Oof, 32. <laughs> it's happening. I can feel it. 
Go double gyro. <laughs> Nick Mask good. That's a Chaos Knight. I thought that was a DK. Ready, game? Oh, we rode deep. <laughs> we rode into super deep territories and found nothing. <laughs> Not like this game. We have two left. <laughs> After this one, we have two ages. That's what I mean by two left. Viper would have been a bait. I should have went for a Viper here. I need a two star Enigma soon. <laughs> they stole my DKs? No, they didn't take it. Oh, they got plus one and they got desperation. <laughs> okay, we got one left. <laughs> This is ridiculous. Let's just sell the Viper now, if I need gold. Let's go, 3 star DK, please. Okay. Oh, come on. Really? <laughs> We're so dead. <laughs> so greedy, so dead. <laughs> We're so, so, so dead. <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> you see what I'm seeing, guys? <laughs> yeah, they're going to pop the ages because we, we're too weak here without enough units. Actually, they might not pop the ages. I'm hoping they don't pop the ages here. Might just be close. Very close. DK Bloodlisk, I know. Even Necro is not found. Like, I save up so much gold there. We start selling with the Chaos Knight if I need gold. One light up, please, game. <laughs> yeah, we start selling the Chaos Knights. Ah, uh, sells the Chaos Knight. Three Star Viper, yeah, cost us so much, the Three Star Viper. That's the thing. But with the Three Star Viper, maybe we do more, right? <laughs> Hoping we don't die here, but the Lycan already munched us. <laughs> Take Ogre! <laughs> it's not going to be game changing though. Ogre is not going to be enough. Very unfortunate. Ogre is not going to be enough. 26. We're gonna try repositioning. This one becomes the damage there. Oh, round 40. Oh, got my Chaos Knight though. <laughs> Worry not. We still have a Chaos Knight left in us. <laughs> Silly game. It's a little ridiculous at times, right? <laughs> Pepper hand. Please, that DK, please. I won't have the gold to buy all of them, even if they showed everything. Where's Necro? I know. Necro's here, that's all. Actually, we're gonna win against the trolls. We're so strong. We're just no good against those two broken builds. <laughs> the infinite damage brownie, let's see how much health he has. The brownie has <laughs> the 9k. 9.8k, it's almost there, guys. Okay, one last throwing us. One DK, please. It just, they gave us that many DK and never again. Scotty, anything that delays the enemy will be good for us. But I very curious that could work as well. Oh, DK, 3 star DK, here we go. We found him. Okay. Now we roll once more. <laughs> Not Necro. Just off Enigma. Contractor DK. Let's go for science, guys. I don't think it's that strong, but just for science, we have to try it. This is a contractor DK with only 220 damage? What? You gotta be joking me, right? <laughs> it only has 220 damage. But it's a blue dragon, though. 
Let's look at DK's damage. Can we do it? Oh, the dream! <laughs> Beastmaster, mow this down! <laughs> Take care, Beastmaster, mow this down, guys. <laughs> Why not that Viper for Ignin? Well, the DK had to transform with Viper. <laughs> let's go back, let's go watch the rest of it. Scotty on Viper, Viper? Yeah, for sure. Scotty on Viper was better. Downside with DK is the well, Heaver was found too late. See, they have two tier 5 items, and over here, I expect a one, yeah, one tier 5 item. The DK was good, but not game changing that late into the game. <laughs> science, thank you. We did DK for Science. 3 star contract the DK for Science. <laughs> How much HP, though? <laughs> Let's come back to here. Beastmaster's like, who needs to be a dragon? I'm Dragon Slayer. <laughs> Beastmaster? <laughs> 1050. Easy. 4k Dragonaut. 5k. Oh, how did he kill the Beastmaster? What? Oh, the bleeding. Oh my gosh. <laughs> no matter how techy you are, <laughs> you can't big <beat> double bears. <laughs> GG, well played. I didn't see that coming at all. This our Savage was number one. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't need to do much, guys. Just heartless savages. This is what they have for for heartless and savages. <laughs> this, is our, this is the number one build: savage hunters. Beats three star DK. Beats the <laughs> savages. Beats the ten k beastmaster. <laughs> I didn't see that at all. In hindsight, contract worth on DK over moonshot, data list, etc. Data list was the best on DK. All moonshot. Those two are ideal. Data list give us more damage. Moonshot more splash to slow enemy. Contract was for science. It was not an ideal item. Definitely not. Let's summarize this game. We had such a convincing lead in the mid game, not early game. But the downside is our particular greed of leveling to 10 too quickly and searching for DK actually backfired. I didn't know that leveling up gave us lower tier 4 rate. <laughs> it's supposed to give higher, so that was a joke. But turns out we got lower rates for leveling up which really punished us what we could have done is we could have stayed at level 9 keep rolling and try to get lucky with a 3 star dk it was much safer maybe and we would have found a few other power-ups as we went to lose less hp what i didn't expect is how strong this savage bleeding is what he has is you know he has the heartless and he has the hunters the blink dagger liking really wrecked the backline of us and also the brownies we, we found <laughs> we found in the mid game was too much of a rate boss for the little knights to tank up we can go for enigma but the downside is we didn't have spot because the last spot was reserved for blood bond contract so black contract worked really well at the start but in the end it became a bait keep that in mind if you guys are trying if you like this game, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and turn the notification on for this game to be posted with added notes and with insights as well. Please also follow and subscribe to support me on Twitch as well, guys. Thank you so much. What a wonderful game. We shot three epic builds. 3 star DK versus 10k Beastmaster versus unkillable bleeding strat. <laughs> Very scary.